In this example, we would like to enrich the data from the PPP dataset for California and with a special focus on restaurants with data from OSM. And therefore, we will use the place key to do the joint. First of all, let's set up everything in ArcGIS Pro. Therefore, I've already created the table in, in my file geodatabase that is called PPP California. And if, as you can see, if I'm opening up the table, there are already items in there with a place key assigned to every line. So this is already enriched. Furthermore, I've downloaded the amenities data set, or a data set from OSM, which shows all the amenities inside of California from OpenStreetMap itself. So let's have a look here inside the data um, structure from a fields perspective. I've already condensed non-used fields like aerial way and lines and stuff like that that are not of concern here. And you need to keep in mind that OSM also tracks the items either as a point, which is called node, or as a polygon which is therefore a line feature somehow. Uh, so I've used to combine and merge both data sets together. So we will have an only point data set available. And as you can see, there are a lot of additional data inside OSM already that can help us in our efforts to enrich the PPP data set. I'm um, strictly or, or concentrating now on the telephone number and the opening times. So both I, uh, both um, data sets have their, have their of course, there are fields already, but um, opening hours and phone numbers as well as websites are often part of OSAM dataset. So we will merge both of them. Looking at the PPP data, we have the addresses already and they were used to create the place key, but you can also use them to roughly or, or just geocode the addresses. And I've done this here with the uh, geocoder from ASRI. And let's have a look here on a very special example inside the Bay Area. We are here on Broadway and there are two points. Um, and let's have a look on how they, uh, what, what um, fields they have. First of all, this is one shop or one cafe. Let's call it like this. And uh, let's have a look into the results of the geocoding results. Uh, we do have found an address and the name is Quintasol Incorporation 35. So from an OSAM perspective, that name doesn't make so much sense, but we can see uh, a new feature in the OSAM dataset that is simply called Quintasol. And this feature or this, uh, this feature has already some additional data that we would like to join, like the phone number. From this perspective, it makes total sense that we cannot only concentrate on uh, vicinity joining, so joining by nearest neighbor somehow, and also not by a name. And they they do not share so much in common these two items. So therefore, place key comes into uh, comes in handy. So what we will do now, we will calculate or we will get and query the place key API for place keys for the OpenStreetMap dataset. Now we will enrich the OSM dataset with place keys and therefore I've created this toolbox uh, called placekey.pyt and let's add place keys for some POIs. I will select the uh, amenities uh, California dataset and I will use the geometry for the where part. And let's have a look at what fields do we use for the name field, of course name. And we will store it in our database. Simply press run. We can have a look at the details. Now it's preparing the data set and it will send then batches or packages of 100 features to the place key API and will receive the place keys for these locations. I will pause now the video because this can take some time. Now the collection of place keys is nearly finished and we will receive the responses for about 40,000 items in our map. Um, that said, it's not only restaurants, it could be pubs, bars, uh, cafes and stuff like that. So everything that is somehow related to restaurants or NAICS code 7225. So uh, we have the completion here. We have some warnings. What are the warnings all about? So most likely some locations were not found. And uh, these locations are now listed here as an SQL statement, but we can, we will see this in the attribute table as well. So let's close this here and open up the place key attribute table. 
Now let's join the both layers and add the place keys to the whole OSM dataset. Therefore, let's create a join field tool. The input table will be, of course, our um, amenities in California. The input join field will be based on the object ID because this was used, or this will uh, be used as a new um, feature ID for the result table. And the result table was place keys underscore the, with a timestamp. We will make the join according to the object ID and we will transfer the field place key. So let's do this now. Job is finished. And now let's have a look here on the place keys. There we are. So now we're having the place keys for every item inside our uh, data set. As we now have both layers joining a common feature, which is called place key, we can now assign the attributes from the PPP layer directly to the, to the OSM data set. And we'll use join field again. But the input table will now be the amenities in California. The input join field will be the place key. And we will add the information from PPP California with that table. From the PPP table, we will use uh, the loan amount. No, we will make the join based on the place key, of course. But we will add or transfer fields called loan amount, business name, next code, and the jobs reported, as well as the lender. Let's press run. So we will create a new definition query, which is stated on the question whether the loan amount is not null. Let's press on OK and just view the uh, field, the locations where we have this sort of information. Let's increase the visual footprint on the map with red circles. And now we have here on Broadway two locations where we have not only the OSM data set available or the OSM data available, but also the lender amount from the PPP data. This is one. The other one is Sakura, Tepanyaki and Sushi. And once we are looking at the attribute field called name, we can surely see that sometimes the names are comparable or, or more or less the same, um, but it will allow us not to query whether there's a regex or some sort of interpretation, whether this is the same location at the same place. And uh, once again, also for Pro Broadway Masala, uh, let's have a look on the business name, Broadway Masala Limited. And uh, once we are looking at the locations that are coming from the geocoding perspective, uh, also the locations tend to be on a different uh, on a different location. So what I've shown is here that the place key itself is a very good tool just to combine information from two different sources with two different or completely different approaches. One says business orientated uh, to deliver uh, um, to deliver letter to that uh, location. The other one is crowdsourced on the street with real locations and with uh, most likely current data like the opening times or the telephone numbers and stuff like that. Thank you very much for watching.